Tonight, what I have for you guys is Trevor and Riley. Nah, just kidding. That's not the name of their channel. The name of their channel is What Goes Bump in the Night. Not to be mistaken with Bump in the Night Society. This is a completely different channel. Let's see what we can do about getting these guys to a thousand. These guys are great. If you guys didn't know already, they had me on their podcast because sometimes or actually they still do podcast stuff also. So in between like how I do these reaction videos in between investigations, but they do podcasts like video podcasts in between investigations. So if that's something you guys are interested in, go ahead and check them out. They always, it's not just normal podcasts. They have guests and stuff on this show also. I was one of them, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. As always, there will be a description. God damn it. There will be a link to this video and their channel in the video description below. Before we hop into it though, I do ask that please, no, I'm just kidding. Spend some time with the dead. On demand almost. We'd be like, hey, can you like touch the duck and make it go off? And it would just start lighting up and going crazy. Why should we be afraid of you? Hello and welcome to What Goes Pump Tonight. I'm your host, Bradley Clark, and alongside me as always is Trevor Jackson. We are here at Honest to Goodness in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Our very backyard. Very backyard. Wait, so is the... <laughs> these guys are I don't know what it is, but I, I, I know them personally, so it's really hard to take them serious. They they might be trying to be serious in this, but sorry guys. <laughs> you guys you guys already messed that up for me. You guys are just hilarious, but <laughs> jeez. Anyway, so that's the name of this place is Honest to Goodness. I don't, I thought that's just what they like titled, like Honest to Goodness. I swear to gosh, this place is haunted. I th that's what I thought this was. Okay, well let's let's try to collect ourselves and watch watch this. Document life after death potentially happening still to this very day. moment. I would even say moment. <laughs> yeah. But we did a little walk through earlier. We were privy to some very interesting information. This wall. Wall being constructed. All right, look at him. Tell me. Oh, shout out Ghost Bros. Like the hat. But uh, tell me. Y'all remember Scream? I can't remember what the guy's name was but one of the famous songs i'm feeling a little woozy here feel woozy y'all remember that god why can't he plays in like five nights he plays a lot of movies he was shaggy and scooby-doo i cannot remember his name though but that's <laughs> that's who trevor reminds me of had sacred geometry wrote on it there's still artifacts that were found in the attic that are still in these walls not only that, in this very corner, in front of this very door, in this very wall, an apparition was captured on the camera that's right over there. CCTV! Now that you saw that, the very door we're speaking of, this very door actually will not stay shut on its own. So we're gonna shut it and we're gonna do the interview. If you like mustache and ghosts, you should probably like and subscribe. Love you guys. Let's learn about some of the ghost stories that have happened in this very building. We have Lindsay here with us. What are some of the, the experiences you've had in this building? Um, I mean, they like to uh, be acknowledged. If you don't say goodnight to them, you'll get all the way downstairs and watch them turn the lights back on. I love that. Individually, it's super fun. They move things, like against gravity. I mean, things will roll the opposite way than they should. 
things fall and no one else is here, they've changed the music randomly. Yeah, they showed us that clip. That's terrifying. We'll show you guys too. A little unnerving. I really like this door to be open all the time. So this room that we're in, you were telling us personally, but what what exactly happened right above? There's a hidden room up there that they found when they were building out the walls we have in here now. Uh, they were hanging out this chandelier and that's not the real ceiling. So there's a whole room under the dome. That's insane. So what did they find up there? Um, like prohibition bottles and I think a bed. So there's a room for a small child, so size for a small child. We might have overlooked a very <laughs> gleaming huge thing too that this whole tattoo and piercing shop actually was a brothel at one point. True. So I think we know why there's a room up there. Or at least we can <laughs> speculate. Yeah. <laughs> we can speculate on that. I think you could definitely speculate on it. So how often does this happen? Daily. Daily. This is what I love to hear. That way. I think one of the interesting facts about this building too is it sat abandoned for like 30 years. Mm -hmm. So like spirits kind of had just like a free for all in here for who knows how long. That's a very good point. And then people came in and they're like, what? And then it's been yeah. like a struggle ever since. Constru yeah. <laughs> Construction's always said to amp up paranormal activity. Yeah, really, I, so. I've heard stories. I wasn't here when they built everything out, but um, a couple of the artists that were, two of them will tell me all the stories about like, Weird stuff that happened while they were building it out because it was pretty active and that's one of the first handprints, the child size handprints. Yep. Stephanie saw one in the drywall dust. Interesting. And no one had, had their kid up here. I love this so much. I think we won't subjugate you to any more poking and prodding. We will let this building do the speaking for itself. So let's begin. We are at the epicenter of where this full body apparition was captured. Yeah. It was just over here. Jenna and Lindsay are actually in the room adjacent to where that had happened. We have cat ball set up on the ground over here. And we have a red pod millimeter. Go in, we'll put that out. So the obulus over there. We have obulus over here. We have spear talker going somewhere. So we'll just open it up with. Yes, you guys heard that. They have an ovulus and they still choose to use Spirit Talker. This is because, which they may even um, be able to tell you guys this themselves also. We might be able to see it in the video too. Sometimes, actually more times than not, oddly enough, Spirit Talker, the, the phone app, is actually more accurate than the $500 ovulus. And I can't remember if I cut it out of the video or if I left it in there, but that is why I don't have an Ovilus. I have the Spirit Talker app. But why would I spend $500 on a fancy little device that I'm going to get more accurate responses out of a $1,000 device with a that I'm, I can use every day for calling and texting and taking pictures than I can or with a $4 app than I can with a device that does everything that $4 app does, but not as good for $500. And I can't text, take pictures, videos, call, or anything like that on it. So that should show you guys something that people that actually have ovuluses or ovuluses still use this app from time to time. If there are any spirits in this building, my name is Riley Clark. Oh, I'm Trevor. <laughs> I, was, I thought you were going to continue something. I thought you were like, and I'm with. No, that's my bad dog. <laughs> I'm Trevor, though. We have Jenna. And you probably know. Lindsay. Lindsay. <laughs> Spirit Talker so, is going. Okay. If you would like to communicate with us, though, please, 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 please come over to where we are right now in any one of these little toys or devices on the ground. If you could try to use their energy and do something with them, we would really appreciate it. Learn who you are, tell your story. What? Spirits, if I close this door. Orb. 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 I don't see no orbs. <laughs> I'm gonna close this door. 
Feel free to open it again. We hear that you like to do that. Show us that you can. Point six. Point three. It could be an electric wire one. Probably. Walter. Walter. Say Walter? Does that sound familiar? Well, I mean, it was also a brothel and a jazz club. A lot of people came. That's fair. Are we, are we speaking with a Walter right now? If if we are, can you try to make any of the other devices go off? I said that so weird. 1.4. That went to 1.4? 1.5. Can you grab can you, that antenna? This device with the green dot, can you touch this antenna? If you do, it'll light up all different kinds of colors, and the more you touch it, the more it does. They blamed me. What were you blamed for? Mini. Kids are mini. There was a kid most likely made and kept up there. Is this the child spirit we're talking to? No, I think it's the guy that made it. Wanna try a ghost tube? Yeah. What did I say? Think. <laughs> oh, 1.2. We just started another device that you can use. The gray. The gray. And. And. And what? You can use this device in my hand to speak. You look like Zach Baggins right now, bro. It's actually <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> so if there's any spirits here that want to communicate. I think I just got scratched. <laughs> I mean, am I being affected? <laughs> There's no need to be shy. We actually come with the most respect. We just want to hear your story. This. Out. This. Yeah, just put it on the button for a bit. Does it chills? <gasps> no, go away. No, go away. What did the obvious say? Thing chills, finger. Chills finger, no go away. No go away. What are you trying to tell us? Do you not want us here? Do you men make you nervous? Or are you one of the men that came to this brothel? We're the ghost who's not doing anything, anything right now. It, yeah, it worked so quick last time and it was always spinning. What do you think of the pretty ladies we have with us tonight? If you're a child, you don't have to be scared of us. We just want to hear your story. Do you not know how to use these devices? I do not. I thought that. Which I thought one it was, was it? It was this one, 11. 11? I just thought you was 11? a kid. Yeah, were you 11 years old? Please tell us your name. Did I say Ida? We've got that Yeah, Ida. Oh, that's fucking wild. The finances is mine. Two point six as it went across like this. <gasps> what? I mine. What did that say though? I couldn't I don't know tell. what that said. Well, we'll have to in post. We'll have to figure that one out. All right, Ida. I. Are, Are you, you a child? an eleven-year-old child? I did too. No, my whole room is like freezing. Like my hands are. I can't feel my fingers. Oh my! Three point four. Three point four. Six point six. Are you right in the middle of us, Ida? Ooh, that was me. You <laughs> good? You good? One point three. Her room is cold, and it was warm. It was comfortable in there. I will say that my mom has one of those mel meters and those things are super insensitive if that makes sense like it's hard to get them the rem pod 
function to go off it's the what they're using it like picking up on all the emf stuff there's been times where i've set it up by like a light fixture and it still didn't like go up or nothing so that is kind of interesting especially that jump all the way to 6.6 .6. that's pretty it's pretty crazy drop you just you dropped, dropped her phone, phone. Your phone. <laughs> are you did you think her dropping her phone was funny I'm moving what? the cat ball. What was that beat? Wait, wait, wait. What was that beat, though? What is happening? My blood. My blood. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I don't know if he's sitting there when it says blood, and I'm like... That was creepy too. That sounds like a like exactly what a like a horror movie ghost would sound like. Like water, you know. That's that's creepy. Can you tell us why you're still here, or are we still talking to Ida? You might want to talk to Joseph first, since he was the one that took care of the women and protected them. Joseph, okay. You might not get to talk to them directly if you don't True. talk to Joseph first. All right, Joseph, we want to talk. Can you tell us why this place was so important to you? I'm protecting you. <gasps> Holy fuck. Thank you. She literally just... <laughs> That he Appreciate was the protector. You, my guy. Whoa. That's pretty cool. If we're talking to Joseph, may we have permission to talk to the ladies? We mean no harm. Dress. It's a dress. We're not dressed appropriately enough. Oh. <laughs> Times have changed. How old were you, Joseph? When you worked here, I mean. How do you know it's Joseph? Um, they had a psychic come through here. Oh. That was a client, I believe, and she was talking about Joseph. Stay here. Is that you, Joseph? Are you staying here? Is that why you said you would protect? I find that very admirable. There is a child here. We mean you no harm. We come here with respect and kindness and love in our hearts. We want to learn your story. Know your name. Maybe play a game. I could use a hug. Do you have the um voice recorder by chance? It's up there. I think it'd probably it'd probably be a good idea to try it a couple of times, see if we can't get Yeah, see if we can't get like a little kid to say something or just hear a voice. I feel like they want to talk. I feel like it feels like that, you know? I'm going to come. In my hands, I have a device called a recorder. What? <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt you. That just spiked up to 2.3 as soon as you said that. And it'll, in my hand, I have a recorder. And it'll allow you to speak into it. And we can hear your voice, your actual voice. We invite you to come and communicate with us. I proof I'm here. 1.4. What did it just say? I'll, I'll prove I'm here. here. Yeah. Okay. If you could speak into this device. Is it, there's a red light. Just yep. Kidding. There's a red light down there. You can speak into that. You can speak as loud as you possibly can. Could you tell us your name? How old were you? Damage. You said you were going to prove to us that you are here. 
Can you prove to us by saying one of our names into that recorder right there on the floor? <laughs> play play. Dude, that's at 4.2 now. Yeah, I was watching it. So what? You hear that? It sounded breath. You hear that? It sounds like come here. <laughs> it's super faint. Can you tell us your name? I heard it. What was that? I heard that one too. Sounds like it says, leave me alone. I don't know. I don't think it said, leave me alone. It, it was leave. really quick. No. no. It was like a little, or it was maybe even one word. I'm not sure. I'll keep listening. It's definitely something though. It it says leave me alone, a hundred percent. And that that voice, like no, that said leave me alone. I can't tell if it is or not, but if it's all three of you. I Dude, a hundred percent. After she said it and like listening to it, it's like a literal little girl's voice, like leave me alone. Yeah. Like you know how like you would say it well, scared. Let's keep talking to her. Or see if we can not scare her, maybe. <laughs> all right, so they. I think we're mainly caught up in the mo moment. I definitely heard that, but that didn't sound like the same voice that they captured a couple seconds ago with the previous question. Okay, if you think about it, it sounded like an older person saying, come here first, right? And then they ask a question and then next it says, it sounds like a little kid saying, leave me alone. Okay, so what if the spirits aren't even talking to them, but instead what they really captured was a grown-up spirit telling a child spirit to come here, and the child spirit didn't want to, so it said, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that could be a reach, but at the same time, is it though? Because I know like me with one of my kids, that well, the two that can talk, I'll tell them, you know, if they get irritated or whatever, I'll be like, hey, come here. They'll leave me alone. Leave me alone, dad. Kind of the same thing. I mean, or it could have been a child that was mistreated there. And you know what I'm saying? I mean, the possibilities are vast. Or could have been telling them to leave them alone. But honestly, I don't feel like it was telling them to leave them alone. I feel like whatever said come here was probably talking to that child. And the child told that to leave it alone. That's just my my thoughts on it. So we're trying to get us lured out of the room. So I don't know. What I wonder what's so special. Yeah, let's try it again. Okay, set a recorder down. What? Did, Go ahead. Did we hear the voice of the little girl? If we did, can you tell us your name? What's so special about this room? Sorry if we're making you nervous. We don't want to scare you. Why do you want us to leave you alone so bad? Were you talking to us or maybe another spirit? Did you see a lot of arguments here? That was quiet. <laughs> all right, <laughs> isolation. We're gonna leave you all these toys. If you can make them light up, move them, talk into the red light, touch the green light. I like this. Riley and Trevor. I don't know if you guys got this from me or not, but if you guys did, 
I I love that you guys do this also. There's not very many teams that do what I call abandonments or what my TikTok people call abandonments. <laughs> but uh, no, seriously though, we've caught so much stuff during abandonments that we wouldn't have caught without them. Like for example, the, uh, the Tipsies video, if we wouldn't have done an abandonment there, it would not have led into such an in-depth research about the place and we wouldn't have found that that place had ties to Chicago and Al Capone and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Because no one knew that it wasn't public information until we captured some stuff during an abandonment that made us dig deep and technically I guess it was public information but you just had to dig super deep and like put two and two together and put people together and so yeah if you're if you're a paranormal investigator or you want to get into paranormal investigation i 100 percent advise doing abandonments sometimes we even do multiple abandonments i may not all make it into the videos but throughout the night we'll do like a 10 minute abandonment here a 20 minute there another 15 minute there just to see what happens when we're not around especially if it's not too active We'll just see if they want to talk without us being around because that's how Tipsy's was at first. We couldn't really get them to communicate with us too much up until we did the abandonment. And then they really opened up during the abandonment. But then when we came back in, it just, it was hard to get information out of them again. I don't know what it is, but so yeah, I really dig that you guys do this. We're going to leave you now. You can use energy from anything in this room. So you guys know what's going on here. We stepped outside to take a break and we had a voice recorder going and I believe it caught a voice of a man saying, get back here. So now that we have confirmed that you said, get back here, are we speaking to Joseph? Joseph, are you here with us? I heard this was your spot. You were a good man for being the protector. You know, I just wonder, though, if whatever said get back here, I mean, it could have been talking to them because it was mighty ironic that they went to go take a break and left a recorder going, and as they were outside or whatever, it said get back here. Could have been talking to them, but also, what if it was talking to the child again or something, you know what I'm saying? First one said, come here, and then the little girl said, leave me alone, and then that, get back here. But honestly, I'm kind of leaning more towards it, talking to them, saying get back here. But I don't know, it kind of goes in with their EVPs they captured a little bit earlier in the video. Can you go try to kick that green light that's on the floor over in front of Riley? Maybe touch one of the balls that are on the floor. If you do that, they'll light up. Everything that we have, if you touch, it'll light up. The witch up. is here. The witch is here. Are we talking about the witch in the hallway? Or are we talking about the witch that's sitting in the chair? <laughs> <laughs> or me. Or Lindsay. We just want to confirm you're here, that's all. Uh, we'll try ghost tube again. Okay, good. Let's do that. Little boy around you. There's toys you can play with, little guy. He's over there. Oh, fuck. Isn't he over by Trevor? That responded. Can we play a game? Yeah, 
I'm freezing. There's the like oh, no one thing I was gonna say is the like window. My hands. Like I'm trying to warm them up, but like my hands aren't I'm very cold. fucking ice right now. Can you, Can you move, move something, something for us? I said to listen, I think. I put my last breath here. What happened to you? I'm so sorry. I just got touched. Swear to God. I'm getting touched from my elbow right now. It's touch. Oh, it's touching my back. I'm surrounded. Yeah, your shirt moved. My shirt just moved? Your shirt moved. I'm getting touched right now, dude. I can see you in my camera. Oh my god. It's surrounding me right now. Whoa. Whoa. The hair on my... It's all standing up right now. Look at that. Actually, just bumps. Oh my god, is my shirt moving right now? Yeah, yeah. It's like pulled out. It's like someone has a hold of it. Is that, you see that now? Can you pull my shirt? <gasps> Dude! They're pulling your shirt. Good job, man. Can you touch my hand? Angel. Whoa. It's okay. I can literally see your shirt moving. <gasps> Great job, little man. Can you tell us your name? Dude, I, I know we ain't just gonna forget or like look past or running about where the shirt is at, right? Because, I mean, you gotta be blind not to be able to see that shirt moving around and whatnot. And he's staying as still as possible. I mean, even if he was like, kind of like shaking or anything like that from the, the cold chills and stuff, you know, the excitement, it's not gonna, you know, shaking and whatnot. It's not gonna like quite literally like, you know what I'm saying? Pull your shirt out. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm, I mean, I'm looking at the same thing you guys are. And I honestly believe that they seriously just captured his shirt being played with by a spirit. There's no other reason that should happen. And I, I know these guys, I know for a fact, if there is a vent down there, blowing air or whatever um, up, they would have said that not to mention spirit talker saying your gut right that's abdomen area where are they playing with the shirt at you know it's hard telling what's actually happening are they you know wrapping their arms around him like a hug or whatever and messing with the shirt are they behind them messing with the shirt you don't know where they're at but regardless they're messing with him around his gut area I don't know, this, this is actually crazy. Now I know why they wanted me to watch this one. Jesus. This is wild. We can literally see your shirt moving. Okay, I'm not moving. I'm And it's even fast. We can see you moving a shirt. Can you try one of these balls on the ground over there? See if you can kick one or push it really hard. There is a duck on the floor that makes really pretty colors. I'm coming out to you, Trev. Who was it that- Hold up, I gotta take this hoodie off right quick. Jeez, that's crazy. Let's try the spirit box. Yeah, put it in the portal. We'll start out here. I want to put it right in the portal, man. Yeah, and then when we do the SD, we'll give it to one of you guys. All right, Joseph, this is a perfect time to talk. We'll start out here. I want to put it right in the portal, man. Yeah, and then when we do the SD, we'll give it to one of you.
Estes. Estes. Freaking Estes. And I know you know this. You're just trolling right now. Nah, it's okay. I understand. You Michiganers. You guys. Alright, Joseph. This is a perfect time to talk to us. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, are you here with us? I'm gonna make it faster. Yeah. Some of that was radio, but I don't know what the other part was. Put the antenna down too. And now you can talk to us and we should be able to hear you again. It's a sex. I'm not even kidding, dude. It's like sex. <laughs> this place, I mean... Did you are, come here for the women? Did you come here for the women? They missed it. There was a voice. I'm going to do this when I hear it. It said, no. That was pretty clear, too. I have no idea how they missed that. Well, I kn it would have been really easy to miss. You miss so much stuff in person doing spirit box sessions like this. Even doing Estes methods, you still miss a lot. But that was clearly no. Oh, is that no? No. no. Are you asking for help? Can we help you? Can you what did you say slack? I thought so too. Rude. <laughs> what did you do here? Yeah, we're switching the S boxes. See if it changes anything. Cause there's a lot of radio coming through S -box. that one. S -S I swear to God, it said sluts though. Dude, I I swear to God, it did too. It was weird. Second S box. The same device. Stop. 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 I might be tripping, but I swear it just said. Hey, you dumb.
let me know in the comments what you guys think that said. Honestly, man, it really sounds to me like it said, hey, you dumb. Yeah, you get it. How many spirits are here with us? Can you come through and tell us your name? As loud as you can. That's not a thing. Thank you. How can I help you? What are you offering? Can you touch Trevor? Yeah. Wait for a second, can you touch Trevor? So, yeah. Are you able to interact with Trevor like you did me? Do I need to speak to Joseph? Speaking with an Arthur? You know, many, many people came through this town over the years with the railroad being right there. Were you a visitor? I'm getting this really insane COVID sensation in my hands right now. Is that you by Riley? That's a bunch of them too. Whoa. I literally looked down and started blinking. It was at, it was down was at, one dot. Yeah, it went from three dots down to two dots down to one dot to dead. And we've used that quite a few times where we've never had that happen. We've, I charged those. The last Dude, time we were posting, I charged so it. It's so cold on my hands right now. All right, I'm gonna slide up. Get the temperature, go get the melt temp real quick. Jen! Can you bring me that mail rum? 68.8. I did something bad. What did you do that was bad? Yeah, what was so bad? Are you saying you did something bad because you came here and you bought time with a woman? It's still really. I'm gonna see if, it, if I like move back. If it helps. I like move back if it helps. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure that's me. I'm with a woman. I'll run that back right quick. It's still really. I'm gonna see if I, if I like move back if it helps. I'm with a woman. It's still really. I'm gonna see if I, if I like move. Back. Helps. That honestly is probably some of the best evidence of orbs I've ever seen. And I know that I made a video recently basically debunking 99% of orbs caught on camera. But this falls into that 1% that I truly, truly believe was an orb caught on camera. I'm going to move myself up again real quick. I want you guys, I'm going to show you guys why I say that. Pay attention right below me. Something bad because you came here and you bought time with a woman? Right here. So really, I'm going to see if I, if I like move. All right, so I'm going to slow it down to 25% playback speed. Now watch. Yeah. 
You see it's right there, then it just disappears. It disappeared. Just randomly comes in. You can, and keep in mind, this is not a night vision camera. This is a phone. And they are in not optimal lighting and whatnot. But there's no way that that is dust for one because their phones wouldn't be able to pick that up especially with and no this isn't a bad thing they will get there trevor and riley i know you guys are watching you guys will get there but with their phones the quality is not the greatest with the light going like pulsing and then that flying by and it didn't even fly through the whole screen it just it started right in front of riley's foot <laughs> that's crazy by itself it started in front of riley's foot and then goes over and disappears about a foot after the light. I don't know, guys. That, that's that's probably, the, like I said, the most compelling evidence of an orb caught on camera that I've probably ever seen. I haven't seen anything like that that I can remember, at least. My name is Mildred. Are you fucking kidding me? What? Are you fucking kidding me? Nope. It just said my name is Mildred. You don't, do you remember what that's from? Think Indian burial ground? No. I swear to God, it says my name is Mildred. Mildred, are we talking to you from the the cemetery from Riverside Cemetery? Custard Cemetery? Yeah, did you follow us here? Are you with us? Whoa, that's whoa, that just got real. I will say I use Spirit Talker with my kids quite often, just as something to, to do. So I've used it a lot and I've never heard personally Spirit Talker say my name is Mildred. So that's actually pretty, pretty intense, honestly, and it's relevant to them. Really weird. If, what? That's weird. Or are you impersonating Mildred to get to us? You can be honest. I came from a dark place. Are you talking about the cemetery? We are going to try this voice recorder again. I'm going to set it down and if you could speak into the red light, it'll help out a lot and we'll actually be able to hear and communicate with you directly. All right, three, two, one. Mildred, did you follow us? Mildred, can I have a hug? Can you make another noise for us? Who typed out this text? Now I, now I know you guys are trolling, okay? I know it. I know you guys are smart enough to know that Estes is not spelled that way. You guys, you know what, I'm gonna play it back I'm gonna I'm gonna fix it for you. Sound good? Play it back and I'm gonna fix it for you. That's better. If there's any spirits here, we're gonna be leaving soon. 
We're going to give you a chance to use Jenna to speak to us. Can you tell us who's still in this building? Do you not want to talk to us anymore? Anger? Are you mad at us for being in here? Jazz music just played. Would it make you happy if we played you some jazz? About blues. Blues music? I don't I don't know what it said. It was a male. My name is Joseph. Joseph, are you here with us? Obviously. Are you protecting? Did you love this place? A male's voice keeps trying to talk, but I can't understand anything it's saying. We hear you, Joseph. Just try to speak up more clearly. You can take power from any of these devices. Like I know. Yeah. Hi. Is this not Joseph? Is that your goodbye, Joseph? Is that you telling us goodbye? Right in front of me, like right here. It was crazy. I, it's not that none of the doors are open. We are wrapping up our investigation of honest to goodness tattoos and piercings in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We have a lot of evidence to review. We already did some little playbacks of some of the EVPs that we did. Class A. Not only that, in the past probably 20, 30 minutes or so, there's been a stirring of sounds and weird happenings. Definitely has been. And we got the name Joseph, which is the spirit that the said, man. Oh, here. The man. It took all night, but it finally did say, my name is Joseph. And Lindsay has said multiple times on this investigation as well that the mediums and the psychics that do come in here to get any work done, like piercings, tattoos, anything of the sort, they'll key in on Joseph and they will bring him up and talk about him. Unprompted. So. Pretty freaking wild. If you like this episode, make sure you like, subscribe, share with your friends, and thank you, Lindsay, for letting us come in here and do this. We love thank you. Thank you, Lindsay, we love you. I'm seeing this tattoos and piercings out. Awesome artwork, A1 piercers place to come. Haunted. And it's haunted. <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, ghost and road to 10k. Also, don't forget to keep your ears and eyes open for it really goes. In the night. Bye, love you guys. You see what I mean? These guys are hilarious. All right, closing thoughts on these lovely chaps. Well, you guys seen it. They're extremely likable, super funny, super genuine. It's kind of like a lot of smaller creators. They have the skill and whatnot 
to be able to do this kind of stuff if you guys could can you guys please go sub to their channel go check them out if you're not sub to this channel already please do so it helps out a lot and helps you know us also afford to go on ghost ghost hunting and stuff so see you in the next one Boop.